Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are saying goodbye to the piggy room. Yes, it is our last week here and we are very excited for our very imminent move to the new house and of course the new pig room. Hi Roxy, how are you doing? Let's check out what these two are up to. Hey, hi Kelly. Hello. We are unfortunately a bit low on vegetables, but I do have pea flakes. Would you like one? Yes, we would. Hi. Hi. Good girl. Oh, he's getting there. He's getting there. He always is so funny. He always stretches his front legs out, like forward, when he's leaning up. And it is super cute. Oh, good boy. We can't forget Callie, can we? We can't forget Callie. Good girl. So before we say our last goodbyes to the room, I thought we'd give you one final tour. Also to help me so I can remember the setup and what's been both good and not so good about this space. And if you follow the channel, you'll know that this space isn't just where the piggies live. It's also where I do a lot of the filming for YouTube, obviously. And it's also where I do my editing and my sewing and my pattern designing. So it serves a lot of functions. And as I go around, I'm gonna talk about hopefully some ideas and improvements that the new room will have as well. So first things first, when you walk in the room, you see a radiator. <laughs> <laughs> so we had this moved over here. It was originally underneath the window over there, but we moved it so we could have more space for the cage and the desk. And above that is something that I have taken down. We had a lovely custom drawing of Lyra, Willow and baby Phoebe and Roxy. So that is all packed up and ready and of course will feature in the new room as well. Then moving on round, we have this inbuilt cupboard, which has always been here. So this has been housed all of my fabric. I am a huge hoarder of cotton fabrics and also fleeces and I have even more at my mum's house as well <laughs> but at the minute everything is sort of tidied away. We've still got the fleece box under there but we also have lots of filming equipment, tripods, lights. Up the top there is looking fairly empty at the moment. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> so up here I kept everything for the piggies that I didn't use that often, that I only used to occasionally like spare beds and fabric for the fleece liners and things that I didn't really need to get out that often. Moving on around we had another picture up on this bit of wall here which is actually a chimney breast and I had a lovely print with guinea pigs in glasses that will also be coming with us to the new house. And then onto the desk area I will just temporarily turn out those blinding lights while I do this bit. So the desk is really big it's really deep which is great for me obviously I have my PC here and the tower lives under there and also up here I have my sewing machine over there and I have this great big cutting mat which is great for chopping up fabrics on and if it wasn't sort of for this alcove I would really struggle to fit a desk big enough in here because there's not that much room between the end of the desk and the cage right over there. Roxy looks very fed up. And looking up above the desk this shelf I was initially going to take out and I'm so glad I didn't. It's been super handy for storage of fabrics and current projects I'm working on. It looks a bit sort of random now, everything's just in a bit of a line. Up here we have these pre-made items which I have had for ages. They are definitely going to go in the piggy's new cage in the new room. I've just been waiting for the right moment to finally start using them. Then in the middle here we have this lovely crocheted Lyra in her own little crocheted snuggle sack and this is something that one of my supporters made for me after Lyra passed away and it was such a thoughtful and beautiful gift. So she's on proud display looking over the piggy room and she will be in the new place as well. And this shelf has also helped me feed my plant addiction. <laughs> so over in this corner it's getting rather huge now. It adds a nice jungle vibe to the room. That's a golden pothos and then over at that side of the shelf we have a velvet philodendron. Moving on round and just before we get to the cage we have the wind
window and I have this double curtain pole which is from Ikea and this is one of the things I really like about the room because it's south facing it's quite bright and using the double curtain pole and the two layers of curtain means that I can have this kind of light weight mesh and that's great for number one privacy when I'm filming in here when I want to have um, all my lights on and I'm probably glaring out like a beacon to all the neighbours and also when it's a hot summer day it means that I can draw those curtains and stop so much direct light getting into the piggy's cage and prevent them from getting too warm. And moving on to the cage which is of course the start of the show in this room as you know I have a timber deal DIY plexiglass cage and I will of course be using this as my inspiration to build something bigger and better in the new room. People ask me quite a bit what the dimensions of the cage are so it is approximately 70 centimeters deep by two meters wide and then it stands on these to IKEA Bitrade units and these are basically like the cheap versions of the Calex shelving unit which is the most popular one from IKEA. I'm not sure whether they have these but the reason why I got them is because they were a bit narrower and obviously space is tight in this room so I wanted the cage to not intrude into the middle of the room too much. I just noticed, look at Roxy. She's using a Timothy cube as a pillow. And those units are really great to help with storage. So under here I have guinea pig cleaning supplies, I have fabrics for my sewing, I have quite a lot of guinea pig cage accessories and beds in these ones. And even with all of that, it's not enough. And even with the cupboard behind me as well, I still end up having stuff loose underneath the cage, such as their food and hay and kind of easy access things. And I think for the new room, I would really like to have even more storage under the cage and perhaps something a bit bigger where I can get to their hay and things fairly easily, but it's still shut away. So I don't know what we'll end up with, but hopefully it'll be more functional than what I've got at the moment. What have you been doing all day Nacho? Why are you so tired? Everyone is. You're not using that hair cube as a pillow anymore. <laughs> Everyone except Phoebe here who is just sloping on some water. So as I'm sure you've gathered there is still quite a lot of packing to do even though I have done a lot of sorting out and boxing things up and stuff. This room just contains so much stuff. You'll understand if you own guinea pigs they just tend to take over. Um, so there's still quite a way to go but we are getting there and the guinea pigs will be going over to my mum's house for a few days whilst we do the move as well. So that's it guys, the piggies have left and they won't be back, ever. That makes things feel so much more real and also nostalgic. This is going to be the last time I'm filming myself here in this room. It's been seven years in this house and this pig room has been set up like this for the last five years. This room has seen Lyra, Willow and Twiglet living here from when I moved in in 2016 to 2020 when Twiglet passed away. And as is the way, I lost my older girls Willow in 2021 and Lyra in 2022. But both were over seven years old and I am so grateful to have had them for so long. And then little Phoebe and Roxy, not so little anymore, they joined us in August 2020 and they are now both over three years old. I don't know where the time has gone. And then of course we were blessed with the amazing personality that was Pedro. He joined us in April 2021 and left us in late December last year. And how I wish we could have had more time with him. 
But now we are back up to a herd of four with little Kelly and Nacho. Four unique piggy personalities that we are completely in love with. So this room has been home to a piggy home throughout and now it's time for it to see new people and perhaps new pets as well. For the first time, the cage behind me is empty ready to be transported and there's no piggies in the house. It feels so weird. It feels so quiet. Um, every time I walk up the stairs, my brain plays tricks on me. I think I hear the water bottle going or I peek around the door just to realize that there's no one in here to spy on anymore. But the guinea pigs are okay. They are safe at my mum's house for the next few days whilst we move. So they've already spent their last night in this room and this house and soon so shall we. But on to pastures new, a new piggy room awaits, a new house and a new garden and all new different spaces that are ready to be explored. And of course it's the absolute truth when I say none of this would be possible without YouTube and the piggies and most of all my lovely audience. So a massive thank you from me and the piggies to you if you've subscribed, if you've watched my videos, if you've hopefully learnt about guinea pig care along the way. Thank you so so much. By the time this video goes live we'll be in the new house. <laughs> it's Wednesday night now and we're moving on Friday. And if you want to join us and help support us over on Patreon, I'm posting behind the scenes updates of the move and the new house. So yes, you can get a sneak peek of everything that's going on right now as it's happening. So I'll pop the link to our Patreon about page below. It has all of the information on there for you. Have a read and hopefully we'll see you over there. But yes, there's still packing to do. <laughs> so that is everything for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and we will see you next week, if not before. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.